Support the Wounded Warrior Project. Today we have a special guest, uh, Sergeant, Toge or Sergeant Toby Montoya. And a little bit about uh, Sergeant Montoya. On June 1st, 2009, Sergeant Montoya received head, neck, back, bladder, and lung injuries due to a roadside bomb in Afghanistan. Toby has never let his injuries defeat him, and he credits much of his recovery to his mother, who he says encourages him every day. Wounded Warrior Project has given him the opportunity to tell his story and raise awareness for the warfighters, and he is grateful to be here today to speak to us. Ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Toby Montoya. On 1 June in 2009, I was in Afghanistan. I had 60 days left in country. 8.30 that, 8 that morning, my vehicle was hit by a 400 pound explosive. Training took over and they said I called my own medevac in. I could do nothing as I heard my men scream in the back. They were like my brothers. I'd die for them if I had to. And I was tested this day. Next thing I remember waking up in Germany. And in Germany, they called my mom and my dad and said, you need to fly down here. Your son's not gonna make it. I've done Iraq and I survived there for 15 months. Two months left and I was laying on my deathbed. I wasn't done yet. And I offered the nurse $100 to put me back on the next plane to my men I left on that battlefield. And I fought. Two years I lived with the guilt of leaving my men out there. Wounded Warrior Project came up and said, do you want to ride a bike? I was like, how am I going to ride a bike? I'm in a wheelchair. Well, they have an adaptive bike. You pedal with the arms. So I said, okay, I'll do it. I rode 20 miles. That night I didn't eat because I couldn't lift my arms. I was so sore. Next day I rode 25 miles. Nine months later I rode 100 miles on my bike. All because the doctor said I couldn't. All because they said my career was done. I wasn't going to be doing anything anymore. I was worthless. I was no longer part of a team. Like you guys out here are part of a team. I'd give anything to be part of, bad, bad part of my team. And seeing you guys play reminds me of going out there and bleeding for the man next to me, sweating for the man next to me, doing anything I had to, so we won. And all my men came back home. And I honestly say, I brought every one of my men back home, except for me. I came to, I cheated, I came back early. I took a medevac helicopter. And I beat my men home by two months. What I see today is teamwork, commitment to cause, and a lot of what Wounded Warrior Project stands for. Helping one another achieve their goal not giving up on one another. Wounded Warrior, we have a saying. <laughs> a decade of service and a lifetime of commitment. We will not leave anybody behind. And they dig in deep when I needed it. And the 20 on thousand that are out there still that we have with us, we don't leave behind. Just like you guys won't leave each other behind. And then it's that last minute and you are worn out and you have nothing left. That's what defines who you are. Today, tomorrow, and forever. I don't want to remember that. I want to be remembered as a guy that quit. I want to be remembered as that guy that they have to keep up with. So I'm going to challenge everybody here to go that extra mile keep up with me or pass me better yet and find those ones that need help and bring them to our family because it takes a community
to make sure everybody's home alive. Because even though some are still home, they're still fighting in the battlefield. I was stuck in Afghanistan for two years and I was at Fort Carson, Colorado. I'm home now and I'm grateful for that. But now, like we did out there, leave everything out there. Let there be no mistake that you gave 120% because you want to be remembered as you only tried. I don't. So keep up. And if any more information about the Wounded Warrior Project, go to woundedwarriorproject.org. We have 20 organizations, 20 different programs that help the warfighter. Because I don't like using the word wounded warrior. Because I'm not wounded anymore. I just have to learn how to do things different. I'm a warfighter. I serve my country. And I'll do it again. And I'm here today to talk to you and say thank you for being here. And never, ever give up. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. Thank you. Thank you, Toby. Um, I'm available for questions afterwards. Um, on behalf of the Washington University lacrosse team and Missouri Baptist men's lacrosse team, we'd uh, really thank all of you for coming out today and make this the event that it is. We hope to do this as a yearly event. And I look forward to seeing all of you here in the, in the future and uh, later great years with Toby coming back to us. Thanks again. Thank you all for coming.